Welcome back to Phasmophobia. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, I would appreciate it. Anything you can do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. That being said, um, yeah, at the time we're recording this, we just beat over 200 subscribers, so you guys are amazing. Also, I was able to do something I think a lot of you might appreciate, not in Phasmophobia, of course, but I managed to get SCP Containment Breach running, so... We're going to have that later on this week. Finally, I don't know what happened with it. I had to go into my computer and delete everything that had the abbreviation SCP and the memory access violation error crap suddenly decided to vanish. So, that being said, back to Phasmophobia stuff. Today, we're going to continue on with our own little made-up challenge for Earn Perfect Investigation Bonuses on Nightmare or Harder. Emphasis on the harder last time which should uh, realistically canonically be yesterday for you guys if you're keeping up uh, We did this challenge with tier 3 equipment this time it's gonna be tier 2 <laughs> Let's go ahead and dial this stuff back real quick Apparently they're gonna be revamping the shop so it's gonna be fun to learn a new one But I don't think it's gonna be too bad. We should be fine. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow when I do this challenge with tier 1 equipment. It should be a little bit better than uh, when I tried to do this challenge initially with strictly this tier 1 starting items and only what you get given, but uh, yeah, it should be terrible. <laughs> Let's go ahead, buy, add, make sure everything is only tier 2 or less. Yes, it is. Uh, yesterday or last time, however you're watching these, we did Tanglewood. Today we're going to do Edgefield. So, if you're not familiar with Insanity, uh, basically you get next to no hiding spaces. No well, traditional hiding spaces. Um, there's no grace period, which means as soon as the ghost hunts, the instant it drops in, it can kill you. So, if it hunts on top of you, you're just dead. Um, yeah, the radio guide just lied. On Insanity, you get no cursed objects. And on top of that, you do not get to see where the breaker is on the map. So that kind of sucks. So we need perfect investigation bonus. That means 10 three-star photos, uh, collecting the bone, and we need to complete the objectives, which is capture a photo of the ghost, find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF, and prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix. Let me verify this is recording. Good. Yes, it is. All righty. Don't want to do this for the next hour and, you know, oops. <laughs> this is kind of... Uh, I, I'm starting to feel cursed a little bit. You guys want the longer videos, so I tried to do the longer videos, and instead I end up getting better at Phasmophobia, and you're getting 20-minute videos again. So I am sorry about that. I don't I don't know what I can do to uh, fix that up at all. Um, we're going to take a video cam, a thermo, so we can find the room, and we're going to hold a crucifix. Do we want to hold a crucifix? I think we're going to hold a crucifix on us. Thankfully, we have the awesome tier 2 head cam, so we can use this as our light source. Technically, the second we come in, it can hunt if it is a demon or a mimic mimicking a demon. I need to get to the breaker and get these lights on, because even though I have sanity medication, my sanity is precious, and medication is limited. So, now with that on, we need to find our one evidence, and we also need to find our ghost room. It's 8 degrees in here. Also, just turn on the breaker. I also need to keep an eye out for the bone. That's a tenor. Not sure if this is its own room or if this is technically the hallway. That's a nine. Survey says that's a nine. Kitchen. Also, a nine. it's probably upstairs. It's always upstairs. Oh, there's the bone. We're going to save that for photos. That's an 11 degrees. I don't think I've ever seen a bone in that bathroom. Okay, so we're going to... I guess we'll check the living room real quick as well. I just heard it upstairs. Okay, yeah, it's definitely upstairs. Oh, did... Is it the hallway? Don't tell me it's a hallway, ghost. That's a seven. Please tell me it's in here. Turn on a light. We know it's not a mirror. It's in here. Thank you. Thank you, ghost. 
You are amazing. How much of this do I need? Er, right there is good. Let's go ahead and click that on. I think it is pretty likely to be ghost orbs, but we do not have them. I can work with this. Beautiful. That saves us so much. Okay, so let's go to evidence. Turned on a light. A mirror will never turn on a light. So that is right off the bat. We got something. Really likes touching that door. We need to get up there with a UV. Check that out. We'll also set down that and check dots. And my inventory is filled up. It's not looking like UV, but I did check the back side. So far, it is a negative on UV. Let's get this writing book down. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you... Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Things not registering me at all. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Damn it. Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? I don't know why it's not registering me. I also forgot that I have push to talk set up. Okay, so uh, that was the air ball. Yeah, that means it is not an Oni, and Oni will never do an air ball. Uh, I mean, if you, it kind of makes sense. The Oni is a more visible ghost, and the air ball is essentially like a uh, shadow event or something of that nature. So, basically, if you get an air ball, you know you do not have an Oni. Go back over here. Still not seeing anything worthwhile. Uh, so that's a negative on UV, negative on ghost orbs. So far, maybe it's a... I don't think that was a negative on Spirit Box. I think the game's just not working with me on that. So we will be trying that again. We'll set this back to voice activation, which means we will need to go quiet when the ghost decides to hunt. Also, if it's a yokai, it's going to be pissed when I'm talking up there. <laughs> we need to get an EMF. And we'll take a photo cam. And the other crucifix wouldn't that be a bad idea, but let's get some salt up there before too long. Get up there, do that, and then I'll come downstairs, take a photo, and collect the bone. There's that. Um, I'm just, oh, it's roaming around. Wonderful. Not much I'm going to be able to do about that. At this point, I should take some sanity medication because after the air ball and me being in the dark a little bit, I'm probably down to about 70% sanity. And one of these should be about 25 or 30, I think. Also, I guess we should take a smudge with us. Um, we could take in more. This should be good for now. We need to locate our one evidence and then start trying to prod the ghost for information from there. We also do need to verify that it is still ghost room in here. Ah, nope, that's eight degrees. The this the ghost room. That's six. I heard it do something in here. Six again? What's the ghost room now? Sixteen? Okay, so not those. Fifteen. Check this again. Nine. Seven. What? So this is the ghost room now. Let's be definitive. There is definitely no UV. Need to be careful with our crucifix. Need to get a book back over here. Hopefully it just decides to kick it. Still a negative on ghost orbs. Uh, I guess we could check this in here. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Spirit box. That is our evidence. Uh, Wraith is a potential and it, uh, well, kind of ran away before it could step into salt. So we are going to toss our stuff up here. We're going to die on our way down the stairs. Oh, no, apparently not. Uh, demon's not an option. We like that so far. Uh, not a mimic because there's no ghost orbs. We did get spirit box. 
Can't really toss anything out. Are you kidding me? No. All oh, that stuff's good. Damn. Also, I'm thinking it was a little bit more active when I started doing stuff around there. So, that's a good potential. We need to get these dots up. The dots won't matter. Short box, no ghost orbs. So, yeah, dots isn't going to help us. Um, we just need to get the salt up there, and we need the ghost to walk through the damn salt. That's going to be the only thing and then we'll be able to knock, knock off Wraith, and we, after that, assuming it does step into salt, um, then we can start checking for Onryo. Where I place this down, however, I need to verify where the ghost is. We're not going to get EMF 5, don't need to worry about that. Did I just get cold breath in here, or was that still in here? It's not in there anymore. Is this the ghost room now? Definitely no. We need to get a motion sensor. Because we need to see where the ghost is, where it's frequenting, if it is frequenting anywhere. Thankfully we have the tier 2s, which means that we can uh, place them directly over the salt. If we see the motion sensor pop off and the salt does not get disturbed, we can know for certain that it is a wraith, as we have ruled out Mimic. Keep it from walking down the hall. Also, I'm not sure where the ghost room is right now. In case it does decide to walk down this hall, we are going to put this here. And now we just got to check out the thermo. Five degrees. Walk through salt. Okay. So that's not only three easy photos for me, and I can put this right back. Uh, six photos now. Um, not a wraith. Not ideal for me. That's also not ideal for me, but for different reasons. Where's my photo cam? Interaction. There's burn crucifix. Let's pop that back on. And that. Get out of there for right now. Um... But the big question is, why did it hunt? Definitely low on sanity, that's the big reason. Uh, I just need to capture a ghost photo. We'll do that at the end once we have filled up our book to be safe. Uh, Diogen will be pretty obvious. Phantom will be obvious as long as we have line of sight for a little bit. Spirit, we're going to have to smudge to verify. I don't think it's been doing enough to be a poltergeist. We need to make sure that we are sane for the Maroi. And I don't believe it has been doing to interactions. So, that being said, what do we need? What do I have on me? I have my photo cam on me. Um, we're still done with our daily tasks, even though I did this last night. <laughs> Let's see. Take three-star photo of the ghost. I don't want to risk that, so screw you, contract. Um... There's not much else we could do. We got a spirit box. That's all we're going to get. Dude is walking. He is roaming around a little bit, but that doesn't mean anything for the ghosts that we have left. So, we need to get up there with some fire lights. And we need to start working with the ghosts. See if it blows them out and see if it tries to hunt immediately. There's that. There's that. With the crucifixes on either side, this should be a straightforward test. Just walked in the bathroom, so it is nearby. I don't want to burn these up, but I want the best chance of getting this too. Come on, feel the ghost. <laughs> There's one. Two. I think I heard a third one while I was lighting that, but I don't think that works. You just give me another proper one. Blow at the candle.
I'm gonna make sure we have our headlight off. Start something. I don't need to get myself killed with that. I also didn't check anywhere decent for a hiding space. Whoops. Come on, just blow out a candle. You did two of them. That's technically three, but I think you need to do it within the time span. That's four. I'm thinking this is not an Unreal. It's decently active, but it's not uh, too keen on blowing this stuff out quickly enough. That's five. That's six. Seven. I don't think this is an Unreal. We're going to leave that one off. Technically the candles act as a crucifix, so if that one's on and that one's on and it blows off that one and tries to hunt, it won't be able to because that one's on. That's my logic there. Also, because I don't want to go back down to the van to get more candles. <laughs> Quit touching the door and blow out the damn firelight. Hmm. Well, now it's just stopped altogether. It's me that turned off that. I'm just waiting for it to blow the thing out. But it don't wanna. One. I'm lighting my lighter, lighting the candle, turning off my lighter. That way my lighter doesn't count. Come on, blow it out. Blow out the candle. It's your birthday. Party like it's your birthday. Two. Three. I'm thinking it's not an Unreal. Yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet at this point. What do I need for photos here? I never even took the photos of the salt. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Need one more photo. There's another pile of salt in here. Kind of still need the ghost photo. We'll work with it. Uh, so yeah, not unreal. That should have definitely hunted sometime in there. Phantom, if it does a ghost event, I could take, try to take a photo of it, and if it disappears the second I do, then we've got a pretty safe bet. I'm almost wondering if it was a Maroi, because uh, it drained my sanity fairly quickly from the one spirit box. And it took a second before I got out of the van. Now it's back in the bathroom. Oh, it's in that bathroom. That's annoying as fuck. Gonna have the camera ready. I help, I'm walking through the dark now. No, I didn't even blow that out. The candle is extinguished. <laughs> yes, my sanity is still up a bit before it can hunt. However, I'm kind of working with that. Uh, that's not a hiding space. That's not a hiding space. Let's go ahead and open these up anyway. It's the block line of sight. I guess I need to run that way. There's a uh, pseudo hiding space in that bedroom over there. I needed to do a ghost event, and I needed to not do the ghost event directly on top of me. And I can rule out. That I heard whisper. Then I can rule out Phantom. Diogen will be obvious. Twins, maybe not so much. Yokai, I don't really want to test, but I have my headlight I can use. 
Then in the, if I do the yokai test and fail, then I could test for spirit when I have to inevitably smudge. And we should honestly hear the poltergeist throwing stuff. James, show yourself. James, show yourself. James, do it for the vine. James, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck up a woodchuck could chuck wood where? Yeah, that is not a phantom. Okay. That saves me doing another test, and I don't need the photo cam anymore, which means that I can carry an extra smudge. Uh, let's see. For the time being, we're going to run down here and hop out for a second. Alright, so I don't really like these ghosts that I have. I need to lose more sanity before it's going to even want to hunt, unfortunately. So I need to bring those crucifixes pretty much downstairs and have one kind of on the staircase so that I have a nice escape route. I need to make sure that I have hiding in the uh, garage. That's pretty much where I'm going to flee to once it uh, starts. Um, my test for the Maroi. Uh, I think I've done this once and it does work. Uh, the Maroi gets stunned longer by the smudge. A normal ghost gets, or any other ghost gets uh, stunned for... What is it? Six seconds, and a Maroi will be stunned for like 12. So that should be straightforward enough. Um, the twins, we're going to have to have multiple hunts to confirm based on sound. Deogen will be obvious. Yokai, we're going to have to bait the ghost towards us and hope that, it's, that it is a Yokai. Otherwise, it'll just use Saint Bolt for us, and uh, we'll have to waste a smudge. Once we do smudge, we will have the opportunity to check for spirit, because I have my handy dandy Casio sitting right here, ready. No hiding, I did check. Whoops. On the ground floor, there's no hiding at all. That's just dumb. I don't think there's ever- oh, there could be hiding in the basement, but I'd rather not have to run to the basement. By the way, eye adaptation is amazing. Because I can see well enough, but it's not breaking the immersion of the game. Yeah, there's like never hiding in here, right? Not really. I might still have to come here, depending on where it uh, hunts from when it does. Well, at this point, the game's gonna get dark. Literally. Because I need this ghost to hunt. So, let's scroll up. We're going to grab this crucifix. Place it down here on the base floor. This one's going to get chucked. And there we go. I'll stay here. I'll hear it hunt. We'll see if it immediately goes for the staircase. If not, I will. Oh, the door's still open. That was a ghost event. Unfortunately, now it can be down here, which is also dumb, but we're going to have to work with that. So, staying down here in the dark will drain my sanity at a gradual pace. I think for the time being, I'm going to have Maroi selected. It should also be, at least with the smudge, a decent enough place to loop a Diogen. <laughs> oh, that was still upstairs. And yeah. Aside from that, we just need to wait. A grueling long amount of time. This is why cursed objects. Because you can just force a hunt. I don't think that they're ever really planned for the hunters to, or the 
ghost hunters to be prepared for a hunt long before the ghost is ready to hunt. Although I did take sanity medication, so I can't really pin this one on the game. Come on, feel the noise. Girl, rock the boys. I don't know why this song has been stuck inside my head. <sighs> Felt like I was more active, but it is roaming a lot. Let's see if it comes straight for me. It's pretty slow right now. Straight for me. At the end of the hunt. Uh, that was about six seconds that it got stunned for. Maybe closer to eight, but the Maroi should have been stunned for longer. Ooh-ah. Uh, actually, we need to go right inside. Get a set of timer. It's gonna be a little bit off. Not a Diogen. That's one thing we do know. Not a Yokai. It should not have been able to track me that well. That was a decently slow ghost, so I'm thinking it was a slow twin. And apparently it is also down here. Which is fine if it tries to hunt now because I had the crucifixes here. Yeah, that's a lot of active. I think this is twins. When it is active, it is a very active. All right, 30 seconds in my Casio. Uh, I think it started hunting maybe. I don't know. Oh, trip to breaker. It's not a gin. Well, I think it's. Uh, I smudged it maybe. We'll say t solid 15 seconds because I started counting. Got up there, then it came down here. 20 seconds. That's the uh, realm of error we're going to give it. So we should technically be at a minute 30 right now. course you guys with your nifty little YouTube sliding time bar are gonna get a little bit more accurate than me don't think that was the Maroi my sanity should be fairly low I didn't really hear it throwing enough I mean here yes afterwards but not when I was hunting that stuff should have all been disturbed when it came downstairs Maroi is or not Maroi poltergeist is forced to throw every half a second so, any other ghost is forced to throw every second. And also, the poltergeist tends to throw things harder. This is about 2.20. We get to three minutes, or just after it hunts. I think I could call it a spirit, but we definitely have more than enough smudges to test this multiple times. It is still upstairs. Just watching the timer and keeping my ear out. Timer says 2.30, it means about 2.50. Yeah, you're a twin, aren't you? You're a fast twin. Yeah, it's definitely twins. All right, um, we should have the uh, photo of the ghost for the objective as well, don't we? Yes, we do. Even though it's not in here, 
That is a nice thing uh, that the game thought through. If you fill up your photo album, this does not say you need a three-star photo. This means a photo of the ghost. So you can fill up your entire photo album, all ten photos, and then take your ghost photo if you've got a really tricky ghost like a phantom or a really fast one. That, I think they tend to blink faster, right? But something that you, you got to worry about while you're trying to also fight the ghost, so... You can take the photo after. Now, if you have something that says take a three-star photo, then it needs to be in the album. It needs to have the stars next to it to count. I'm going to call that the twins because of the speed differential between the two ghosts. We could go back in there and keep getting more. I am quite convinced. Let's see if I'm wrong. So, yeah. You can't take three-star ghost photos and don't have them in the album. And the worst part is you can only get one three-star ghost photo per game, which is dumb. Welcome back. It was faster ready. because I lost more sanity. Aww. You know what? You guys want the longer videos? Put down in the comments if you were suspecting that was a Maroi. We're going to go right back in there. Uh, I still need to go and add all the stuff. Yep, that's all the stuff. Uh, everything's tier two. Yes, it is. Back into Edgefield. Hopefully, we get an easier ghost. This is nicer if you get an easier ghost. Moroy, I could have gone in there for another hunt, and when I noticed it was even faster, I probably might have guessed it. I've got a report that suggests a possible ghost sighting. Possible ghost sighting. What the hell would we do in here if there wasn't a ghost sighting? All right, what do we got? Repel, Ghost Event, and Parabolic. Yeah, yeah Parabolic kind of sucks depending on the ghost. Most of them are very talkative. Something about being grumpy about being dead. All right. Back into the fray. Make sure we pick up our key, check our entry temperature. I think I want to check the ground floor before I turn on the breaker. Although it is pretty nice that it's... uh warm out so the ghost stream should be obvious 16s 18s although i have had a ghost where like the standard temperature is about 20 and the ghost room is like 15. did i just hear something was it in the living room nope might have been upstairs i'm gonna continue to check the ground floor and be consistent for once in my life. And of course the breaker's in the basement. No hiding in the garage. The garage is literally useless to us. Head on down here. We'll check our temperature. Oh, so it suck if it's a basement ghost. Not a basement ghost. I can work with that. Reek. Hiding in the basement? Hiding in the basement. Nifty. It's gonna be like our only hiding space, but we'll work with it. Yeah, it's definitely an upstairs ghost. Again. It's always an upstairs. Oh, their bones are right there. Your dick. 15. I don't... I don't even know where the event is. I hope the thermometer still works during this. Seventeen? I don't think it was this room. Eleven? Maybe it was that room. We're gonna leave that as a decent possibility. Bone's gonna be easy enough to get to as long as we don't just randomly die. Nineteen. We're gonna come back to this room. Twelve. Ah, I'm gonna call that it. Uh, let's finish checking on this back half. It's technically a separate room, by the way. Ooh, thirteen. Interesting. Eighteen. Is it the worst possible room? I see a lot of shit. Oh, Jesus. And you turned the light off, you dick. Yeah, I think this is the room. Oh, 18. What the hell? 17. Is it the back half or is it the boys' room? 
14. You could also be moving, which is even worse. Nine. This is the coldest. This is what we're going to go with. Honestly, we're going to check around for ghost orbs really quick from all of them just to be sure. Again, no uh, cursed object. We're kind of boned on that one. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab some stuff from the van. And probably take some sanity medication because I think we're down to about 70%. Maybe even less. Um, let's see. Grab these guys and get them up there, and uh, we'll check around a spirit box. Maybe I want to verify what room. This is the coldest though, so it should be this room. At least a standing ghost. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Let's run back here. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? It's not a spirit box. It's almost definitely that room back there for no good reason. No, it just moves stuff around here too. I'm not going to be able to tell very easily, am I? Oh, right, I still have my timer going. Whoops. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this stuff up here real quick. We'll put that in the entryway right there. I don't know which of those two rooms it is, and we're going to have to find out the hard way. Uh, we witnessed a ghost event. Uh, what else do we need? We need EMF, obviously the photo cam. Uh, at this point, we should definitely get this up there. My sanity is now lower again, which is less than ideal. Oh, well, touch something over here. Actually, I think specifically it's touching stuff in this room. That is three. What's the EMF in here? Or temperature? Seven? If it's not that room, then it's dumb. 21. <laughs> it's that room. No doubt about it. Alright, drop the bone. Let's go grab more stuff. Nice and sunny out today. Never get the sunrise one. Um, obviously we need the parabolic, and then I guess we start taking in smudges. Uh, salt and... Motion sensors are definitely going to be helpful for uh, figuring out where the ghost is going. No fingerprints on anything yet. Definitely keen to turn the lights off. Like the other one, it didn't start right away by turning the light on. Let's grab these and one of those. So far, I think it has stuck to this room. That is ideal. Alright, your butts keep wanting to fall out of my head. Alrighty, what else do we need? Uh, of course, Parabolic. We'll probably grab that last crucifix, and I guess we'll grab one more salt. Doink, doink, doink. Just went through one of the motion centers. We probably got three more salt photos. Yep. Definitely no UV. No UV. Still a negative on orbs. Still a negative on orbs. Guess I can work with that. It's gonna be terrible if it's gonna end up being uh, Wario, because it'll never give me the dots. Nine degrees. Oh, has it moved or? Oh. oh, this one all the way in here, really? Dude is wandering. What did I have back here? Spirit box. We'll test this out in the room again. 
Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Let's turn that off so it's not annoying the hell out of me. Hmm. All right, now the ghost is right there. Want to talk to me real quick? That'd be great. I like we tried to do that on top of my smudges. Don't even know where that is. I can kind of hear that pretty clearly. Oh, there's Parabolic. Alright, what do I want to do now? I mean, we kind of just need to wait for some stuff to happen. It keeps turning off my light. At this time, I'm going to say that there's a potential for mirror. Should probably get in there and start flicking with the light switch just to see. Doesn't help that I have the uh, light on in the room. Not getting any dots. Uh, let's take a look here. Stepped in salt, not a wraith. Um, I need to get my other photos so that way I can take the photo of the ghost to rule out phantom. We're not getting ghost orbs. We're not getting spirit box, I don't think. We're not getting ultraviolet. So far, we're not stacking up to get freezing temperatures either. <clears throat> Trying to crack my back, but I won't go. Yeah. Ghost is a piece of crap. That's what it is. Um, I guess we can take up uh, two of these and our other salt. And we'll put them all in that one spot. Ghost does seem to at least frequent that spot. You killed a breaker? Oh, you dick. I think that was a mare. Get us in the basement. There goes the crucifix. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get two photos from that, but as long as it steps in that salt, I will be golden. Hmm. I think at this point I should go take some sanity, at least one. Uh, get my photos filled up, and. To my knowledge, mares weren't supposed to be able to hunt in a room with the light on. However, I had a previous game in which that exact scenario happened, so I don't even know anymore. Also, we're only getting one photo from that. Right? Photos, burn crucifix? Yeah, only one. Oh, in the meantime, we can light this. Turn off the breaker again. It'd be nice, or it wouldn't be that much of a pain, but it kind of sucks to get to. It's not even that much of an advantage to the ghost, because I'm far away from it by the time it would start hunting. Kind of do still need it to go through this. I need it to give me some evidence, too. It is reluctant. Is it even in here anymore? Nope, now that they got all my salt down, it's not in there anymore. Kind of maybe in here. It makes sense even if it's not a uh, banshee to migrate rooms towards me rather than away. It's maybe in this back half. It's not going to be freezing, that's what it is. Hmm. 
don't even know what door that's going to be. Need to be conservative with my sprint. That was one of those, so it was only AMF2. Interesting. Throwing some stuff around in the darker rooms, it's almost like it's running away from the light. turns on the radio it's gonna annoy the crap out of me and as always you guys should definitely be commenting down below what ghost you think it is might as well take advantage of my struggle here and uh test your own skills I went through all of these right yep yeah if it does blow that candle out at least I can get photos from it if I remember to have that photo cam on me See how much gonna be over doing stuff over here. I'd also like to have the book down. If it feels like it, it can kick it. And at least it'll tell me it's not gonna be ghostwriting. The right tame ghost. For damn sure. I did take one medication though, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted to get photos. I guess the moral of this story is going to be don't set all your salt in one room and if you're going to make sure it's a hallway. <laughs> this does a uh, ghost event. I'm going to need to try to make it walk towards me over that salt just so I can get my photos out of it. It's deemed decently active in a room over there. I am still pretty much thinking this is a mare. Just turn a light on. Just turn a light on. There goes my hopes and dreams of it being a mirror. Clearly turn this light off. Well, that's less than ideal. Wanna walk over this way? Should have done that, that way the airball would come in here. The ghost would have to then walk out and then he would have walked over that salt. That's a three-star ghost photo. <laughs> that better be a three-star ghost photo. <laughs> Red, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, we touched a door in here. I mean, honestly, I guess, yeah, I need the photos. Right, you. I can roll with that. All my stuff's off. There's my other three star photo. Uh, I'm calling that a Raiju for sure. We still need to repel it while it's chasing somebody. Um, guess for that, we will get these guys down here. Yeah, because it only sped up like immediately around my area.
That's our cue. Hey, made it out of the house. Hell yeah. Yeah, because it only sped up near to powered on electronics. That is a working Raiju, to be honest. Uh, sometimes they'll speed up even if there's nothing powered on. Basically in the presence just of electronics. So that is, let's see, all those photos are three stars. We even got a three star ghost photo. We clearly got the bone. All objectives are complete. We got another tick mark for our weekly task. Cross your fingers, let's put it in. Is this a Raiju? I don't think I know of any other ghost that's gonna speed up like that. Haunt you. Oh, the room was cold. Goddamn ghost crap, mother. If I had had a little bit more line to sight, I would have seen the ghost breathing. Well, it was still to make pretty decent money for getting the ghost wrong. <laughs> oh, let's check where we're at. Uh, we're doing a little bit better each time. You know what? You guys really want the longer videos? You're get the longer videos, whether you like it or not. We're going back in. You're gonna see every last bit of it. This is just highlighting how difficult this is gonna end up being when uh, I have to do this with tier 1 equipment. Because I don't even get the headlight. Let's grab this, the thermo and our UV. Hope that it's not going to be a uh, demon that's gonna hunt immediately. Surprised if we had an entryway ghost on here. I don't even know why I'm checking down here. Wait, why is this so cold? I already heard throwing upstairs. Let's just go get the breaker on. Oh, jeez, that was a leg spike. No hiding in the garage. Ah, oh, that's why I normally need to look around because I still need to find the bone. It's probably going to be upstairs too. But I don't need to get everything else right and then end up forgetting about it. right there. What are you doing in this house? I'm just looking for a random bone sitting somewhere. Probably gonna be on the stairs here too. Really screwing me over with the lack of hiding spaces. This is asserting the fact that I do not need to come back down into the basement after this. I was gonna keep an eye out for a little chicken bone. Or just vanished right in front of me. Okay, let's go on upstairs, find a ghost room. Honestly, we should probably just chuck a bunch of stuff up there. 11 degrees itself. Oh, really? I mean, I appreciate you serving it to me on a silver platter, but... Oh, not here. This room, specifically. Four. And... Not four. This room. Yeah, you, you could give me UV one of these times. Still the hiding space. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to work with it. And let's check around for our orbs. Of course, it's switching through to other rooms because ghosts. Oh, gotta remember to uh, take a photo and then pick up the bone on the way up. And of course, we'll put the salts. We're gonna wait because if we get a Gorio, the ghost's probably never gonna leave that room and it's gonna screw me over anyway. Grab these guys, get them up there. Uh, our sanity is probably close to 80% for as long as we were in the dark, so we do need to be very wary of that. Very wary. <laughs> are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Jesus. Still gonna put the book down. Screw you. Not liking the spirit box ghosts, but this one may be a yokai. Uh, it was active as soon as I went in the house, and I was talking as soon as I went into the house. 
Decent ghost list though. Uh, there was definitely no orbs, but we will check that a couple times over. Um, the rest of these are good to go with their evidences. What do we need? Sanity below 25, parabolic, and escape to ghost during a hunt. Fun. So we don't need anything else up there. Let's grab these two. Give me to think. There we go. Give me to think. There we go. Sitting over here, spam the grab button. Put that light on. Hopefully, it'll stay somewhat close in that room. Probably not going to. Never does. Say that, but you know. As soon as I walk in here, it's cold. This almost could have been a freezing Tim's room. One degree. Yeah, very nearly could have been a freezing Tim's room. Didn't I grab a photo cam? I swear I did. Where'd it go? Oh, I scrolled through and nothing showed up in my hand. Stupid photo cam. Alright, let's get our salt. We'll place as much of it as we can, honestly, right inside that doorway. As long as we still have cold breath when we go in there. I only need one footstep then. To verify, yeah, we don't have hiding. We do have hiding. Cold breath. Cold breath. Turn off the breaker. Not a gin. I don't think gin was even no gin wasn't even an option. Okay. Um. So yeah, we should also set up a motion sensor up there to watch over the salts. Uh, probably just take these both up there. Let's go grab the breaker on real quick. Sanity is probably close to 70-ish percent now. So we do need to be cautious about that. Basically meaning it's going to hunt any second. No, if it goes through both of those and does not step into salt, we know it's a wraith. Well, I was anticlimactic. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Crap myself a little bit there. I think that was too average of a speed to be the, uh, the uh, twins. Oh, breaker's still on. Nice. Yeah, we definitely need to take some sanity now. Now it's going to take it a little bit longer to hunt afterwards, but we need it. And a smudge stick wouldn't be bad. Uh, photos are full up. They are all perfect. Um, we don't need to worry about a ghost photo this time around. Sandy does still need to get below 25. That'll be later. We know what the ghost is. We get to sit in the closet and wait. Um, still need to get parabolic and escape to ghost during a hunt. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Well, of course, we're not going to actually see anything on here. Um, Yeah, I'm going to mark off the twins already. 
good potential for this to be a yokai. We need to wait for a speed differential to see if it is going to be a Maroi. Aside from that, we just need to get back in there. Uh, so let's grab ourselves a lighter, a smudge, and another photo cam because I don't remember where I dropped my last one. Honestly, screw the photo cam for right now. We need a parabolic to uh, listen for the ghost. With this level of sanity, the ghost should be talkative, but not immediately kill me. Take up mood rooms. At least we get some decent tunes while we wait for it to yell at us. Hearing helper. This is a parabolic microphone, not a hearing aid. Alright, we're going to hold on that. We're going to see if we still have cold breath in here. Or just check it with the thermo. Devonish. Not as cold as it was. Hmm. There's a light switch. I don't think that counts, though. Somehow that doesn't count either. Finally, we got a whisper. It's touching everything up here now. Ah, uh, those aren't good. Cargo photos are decent. At this point, we need to try to see it if we can. Maybe get a ghost event and uh, take a photo. Dick. Damn air balls. What if I could take a photo of an air ball of a phantom and uh, it dissolve or vanish? Come back here! Uh, set our timer. I don't think that was a phantom. I don't think that was a yokai, but we're gonna test that again just to be sure. We'll actually grab an extra electronic. We do need to go grab another smudge stick real quick, and I need to keep this photo cam on me to check. Oh, there's the other photo cam. To, uh. I guess we can't have that then. Brain needs to work. Oh, we need to have that photo cam to verify Phantom. But for the time being, I don't think we have one. We're gonna turn on our headlight. So the next time, honestly, we should try to get this stuff out from upstairs. Did throw a lot of things around, that is for sure. It is liking to touch a lot of stuff. This is potential for Poulter. One time, I don't have my photo cam. You dick! Worst part is it was right there. Oh, 
honestly, when it comes through here, we'll be able to test or actually see if I can set that up real quick. Little itty bitty polter pile. One walks through it, it should shred this pile. half these photos for some reason. Use once I can. Puppies. Who doesn't like puppies? Puppies are good for you. Gotta come back up here, turn this light on. It's over there now. Could just easily do a ghost event. That'd be too difficult. Now we have the other photo. I don't think that that one did it. Should be careful. The ghost is right here. Also, I got two crucifixes, so I don't need to be that careful. Um. Oh, it's another ghost event. As it leaves here before it tries to hunt, I'm good. Yeah, you came straight for me. So we got all our objectives, we got all of our photos, we need to certify this ghost. I did not miss with that pile enough to be a poltergeist, but it's throwing a lot of stuff. And that's making this pretty hard. Um, it was also like four minutes since I smudged the first time, so that's good spirit material. Should have been a lot faster. But I'm just gonna go. I think I took medication, so I'm just gonna go back in here now. We're gonna wait for my sanity to drain a bit more. We're gonna try to stay over here as well. It's not a yokai, we know that now. And I don't think it was an on rail based on when I. I think I did a lighter test on it. I don't remember. Did it turn off the breaker? No, it's still down here. Um. Feel like it's acting mirror like whatever it is it's definitely in the first column I, I think we've got that settled need to see if it's gonna be faster this time I need to be in the dark for this should definitely be able to light this fireplace ah <laughs> uh, speed is pretty average just the thing Could you not? You, you gotta be clickety clack clack. It's not even the correct time. <laughs> At this point, we need to try to get a ghost event and take a photo and see if it is going to vanish. Kind of did on the second photo on that one, but I don't like that.
Come on, Elizabeth. Show yourself. Damn. Left too quick. Come on, Elizabeth. Show yourself. Come at me, bro. Elizabeth. Birch. Not a polter. It should have touched that pile and it walked right past it. Mare, Spirit, or Maroi. Should have been faster that time. I was in the dark longer. My sanity is definitely drained. It's not zero, but it's definitely lower. Ah, so Mare or Spirit. I think this is a stacking up to be a spirit, honestly. I'll need to do a smudge test again, which is basically going to look like my yokai test. <laughs> Because I want to try to smudge it at the end of the hunt, so by the time it goes upstairs all the way around and into the garage, it should be fairly depleted. So we're also going to try to drain our sanity at the same time, just to verify that it is not going to be... Oh, threw some stuff around in here when I was in here. Uh, verify it's not going to be a Maroi. I would like to, in the meantime, also get some uh, ghost events so I can try to take photos, but... Elizabeth isn't very cooperative. Are you Elizabeth? That's 15 seconds off of my timer. Now I need to stay in here. Yeah, it's not touching that pile at all. I definitely should have chucked an extra smudge. I did not think about this. Oops. Either way, I got a few more seconds. Actually, I got about uh, 15, so I could technically run out to the van and grab one. Ah, oh, that'd be a smart thing to do. One, two, three, four, down to eight. There we go. That's just an event. Longer I'm in the dark, more insane I go. We're at a minute 25. This needs to hunt within three minutes and I can have it narrowed down to mare. If it waits longer, I'd have to just go with spirit and assume. It's already past a minute 30. Need to wait till my little stopwatch gets to 245. So I can call it a spirit. And of course, that's a uh, anti evidence, not an evidence. Is it down here? Oh, that would suck. Um, because any ghost can just decide to wait longer before they hunt. They're not forced to hunt at any given intervals. So, uh,. You could have something like a demon waiting four minutes to hunt, even with crucifixes laying around, because it's just random number generated. It's down here now. Wonderful. I need to be careful about that. Because if it is a spirit, it's going to hunt in 15 seconds. Ooh. 
two, one, zero. And of course, spirit can decide to wait longer before it hunts. We're basically at zero sanity now. Yeah, that's definitely not a phantom's blink. It's got some speed to it, damn. I think now I tried to break her. I want to say it was faster that time, which is weird. I'm also out of smudges. Where did all my smudges go? Ah, I hate getting these wrong. I don't know. I mean, technically, we still got a few minutes. So it's just acting like it lives down here now. Take that hairball. I had a photo cam, I should have took a photo of that. It hasn't hunted within three minutes, even the first time. It's in the kitchen now. I don't have a timer set up for this. This ghost is decently quick. Mare's not quick, is it? It's suddenly coming to the realization I don't know nearly as much as I should. Go on with spirit. Yeah, let's see. Don't know what I'm gonna go with spirit. We narrowed it down quite a lot. I was about to say, it waited so long every time. We finally got the perfect investigation, but I didn't even verify it. I didn't have a way to verify that my sanity was below 25%. All I could do was hope. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was fun. Alrighty, well, thank you all for suffering along with me today. If you would like, comment, or subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Anything you do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. Next time, we I'll I'll show you what next time setup's gonna look like. We're gonna we're gonna go over here and we're gonna set all this to tier one. What's the dumb part is the uh, tier of the equipment hasn't really been hindering my progress it's been just the ghost being stubborn although i will say tier one crucifix tier one candle and tier one well flashlight not having head cam that kind of stuff that hinders a little bit slowing down to photo taking process with the tier one photo cam this is gonna suck a little bit uh, first we're gonna sell everything just to make sure actually we're gonna go to all sell buy add there we go and everything's tier one look at that so thanks you all for coming along for the ride like I said before and all that I will see you next time have a good one